aside from being, on average, the farthest planet, well, dwarf planet, from the Sun, Pluto and its orbit have several characteristics that make it unique. First of all, it is very small. Earth has a radius of 6371 kilometers, which for us is pretty big. Jupiter, the biggest planet in the solar system, has a radius of 69,911 kilometers, almost 11 times Earth's radius. Mercury, the smallest planet in the solar system, has a radius of only 2,440 kilometers, 0.38 times Earth's radius. And then there's Pluto which has a radius of only 1,187 kilometers. Its greater distance means its orbital period of 248 years is the longest of all planets. Its orbit is so far from circular that it can actually be closer to the Sun than Neptune at times. Pluto's orbit crosses inside of Neptune's orbit for 20 years out of every 248 years. The plane of Pluto's orbit is also tilted the most compared to the rest, taking it further north and south of the Earth's orbital plane than the other planets. Pluto's only satellite, Charon, is the largest satellite compared to the size of its mother dwarf planet. Charon's large mass relative to Pluto means that the center of their common orbit lies outside Pluto's surface, another unique characteristic of this object. Finally, Pluto itself is unique for its position and physical characteristics. The four inner planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars, are known as terrestrial planets for their smaller size, solid surface and similarity to Earth. The next four planets, looking outward from the Sun, are gas giants. They are larger than the terrestrial planets, have a larger number of satellites and no solid surface. Beyond the gas giants, Pluto breaks the pattern by, once again, showing characteristics more like a terrestrial planet, small, solid surface and only one known satellite. And besides all of that, it is the only astronomical object that has a very cute heart on its surface. <laughs>